and its satanic symbolism. As you see straight away from the Illuminati pyramid up with his hands. And basically they say the mask of truth basically you can tr control somebody's mind with this mask of truth. As we know mind control. That's what this is, mind control. You can control somebody's mind with a mask. And the mask that you get, as you see, looks very demonic. It's got an all-seeing eye on it. And an all-seeing eye mask again. As we know, these kind of games are just full of the all-seeing eye symbolism. Because Nintendo loves to promote it. You get the all-seeing eye mask. Promotion of the Illuminati and the Antichrist. And basically now he's got power from this mask. As you see. We all see an eye mask again. I mean, through every single Zelda game, you're going to see the OC and I. It's promoted in all of them a lot. Straight up occult symbolism. Well, as you can see. And this is the same. The mask of truth. Basically, it's saying the mask of truth that... The, it's basically saying that the Illuminati is the truth and spreading lies. And here you have Zelda basically, basically saying that he's God. Basically the saying that Zelda is the savior of the world who dwell in the light and then return to heaven. As you see, they're basically promoting him as Jesus Christ. A false savior and he basically joins the occult right in front of your face the Illuminati pyramid and he joined basically walks towards the Illuminati pyramid in mind control basically it's dragging him towards it mind control promotion of the new world order and Illuminati as she's she's possessed And basically this occult appears, and he basically just joins them. I just see it's forcing him. Mind control. He's being forced to go towards it. Basically, the devil. These are the occultists. And to a shock and a surprise, he ends up joining them. He ends up joining these occultists. So basically the promoted that he's the saviour of the world yet he joins the occultist because as you see in a minute it Zelda's right there. Jo he joined the occultist, the elite. As you can see he's possessed also the O C and I. Basically promotion of the Antichrist. As you can see though, now he's part of the elite. The occultists, the Freemasons. And he looks possessed. Then you've got this in the beginning of the time. Basically, they're twisting the Bible for their own advantage. You see the Illuminati pyramid there, they're worshipping it. Basically, this worshipping Lucifer. The Antichrist, as we say, worshipping it. And they're also, as you see, the OC and I as well. And horns at the top of the person's head looks like the devil, because it is the devil. Basically, it just promotes the Antichrist and promotes that Zelda is the savior of the world, and yet he joined the occult elite.
I just see, noticed how it looks like a devil Baphomet thing. And then you got the Illuminati pyramid above his head. Basically simulating most likely he's the Antichrist. A false saviour. As you see it's following him. I see Lucifer's following him. As it says, through generations until it became legend. But a day came, blow across the kingdoms. The great evil that all thought had sealed away by the hero. To resume its dark design, so sort of basically, as I said, they're promoting him as a savior. And as you see, the worshiping Lucifer, see the all seeing eyes on the right. That pyramid simulates Lucifer, the Illuminati, the false god. And it basically says the way these people were waiting for a savior, basically saying Jesus Christ, but they're basically saying that the savior is Zelda. And these are supposed to be kid ga kids games in the straight up satanic and full of occult imagery and symbolism. But basically where they say destroy the kingdoms, that's basically as we know with Revelation. Basically what they've done is twit took Bible verses and twisted it, as we know that's what the elite do. Basically the rise of the Antichrist this is. When the Antichrist comes down and force, forces people to worship him. This is the basically the Antichrist here. The Antichrist, the leader of the, basically the leader for, swears alliance with world leaders. This is exactly what the Antichrist would do, because this is the Antichrist. Then you got the Illuminati pyramid above the wall, again. As you see, you got the Illuminati pyramid right above his head. Basically, the saying he must have come to destroy the world. Basically, and notice this tower looks like the same t Zim Zimrod Tower, Babylon, exactly the same. Then you got Islamic screams here. That's all you're gonna hear here, Islamic screams. All the way through it. Basically, Islamic screams in hell. I mean, this part was actually removed from the game because many I means listen to it. Satanic Church, basically the Freemason Church. As you see, Freemason Church, Masonic Lodge, the checkerboard floor, and you got the Illuminati pyramid above the wall, and you got it on the floor. This is simulating a Freemason Lodge. As you see, the Illuminati pyramid in there, sun worship, pagan, pagan ritual, pagan worship, as we know, with the sun. As you can see the pyramid again and then it basically lights up by these three little things and basically shines and glows as we know the Illuminati Enlightenment. And it's basically right next to a sun. A little ball sun thing stimulates some worship. As you see it glows. Enlightenment. And then you got this, the basically thing that I was on about. This is the god that basically the Freemasons worship. It's really the devil. They believe in this free headed god with free heads in it. It's in the shape of a spider. 
this is their god that they worship, and it's a straight-up satanic belief which the Freemasons believe. This is what they really worship, because it's connected to Osiris, Cyrus, and the devil. As we see the sun song basically controlling the sun, pagan, basically it's pagan, he can basically control the sun whenever he wants, straight up demonic and witchcraft, and you've got this person that I looked up to the eyes to the heavens and found the God, and you see exactly who his God is, it's the sun, sun worship as we know, in the Bible, in the Egyptian times, people worship the sun as a God, he wants power, basically wants power from the sun, that's what they used to do in the Egyptian times, worship the sun as a god, as you see, he's worshipping the sun, the sun comes down and suddenly goes inside him, as you can see it's clearly the sun, worshipping the sun, pagan, it's pagan and satanic. See so, you now I right here another Zelda video game I mean promoting the old CNR the Eye of Horus promoting the Illuminati this is what this game is all about and, and it should avoid it at all costs.